What are the best color schemes that you can use when code editing in Vim or VS Code? The studio, when you're using your IDE, you want your syntax to be highlighted so that way it kind of feels nice. It has like a good aesthetic. At the same time, it kind of helps you identify potential problems with your code due to uh, breaks in the syntax, like you might have a syntax error somewhere, right? Or typo. The coloring of the syntax will help you identify these problems more quickly uh, and uh, rather than having to rely on the compiler to detect them for you immediately or problems down the line. That's why syntax idling is so good. And, you know, we want the colors to be appealing. My favorite one that I'm, I, I jump between two different uh, models. One is the Groovebox. I like Groovebox. Groovebox is the one that I'm currently using. So here's my code editor uh, in the Groovebox color scheme. You can see that the tones are nice. You can see you get a good color output. Uh, they're, they're slightly muted. They're uh, also contrasty. You can see enough contrast here. Um, and they are very, very nice to look at. And it's uh, sort of a nice smoother tone. The contrast isn't too high. Uh, at the same time, you get, you know, a definition in the color. This is Groovebox. There are a couple other ones we see, uh, Bad Wolf, Jelly Bean, and Solarized. I, my, those are not my second favorite. My second favorite before we get to these other colors is Monokai. So here's Monokai. I like this color uh, a lot more for VS Studio Code or Vim Code Text Editor because the colors are bright, they're cheery, and they have uh, almost the maximum amount of saturation that you can have at the same time, still providing contrast and a wide range of syntax opportunities when you're highlighting different words or tokens on the screen. So I tend to jump between Monokai and Groovebox just depending on the mood that I'm in at that time. Jumping over to a few of the others that are, uh, the, I would say, the runner-up models that I like from a color scheme perspective, you can see this is Bad Wolf. Bad Wolf uh, actually looks a lot closer to Monokai and kind of uh, jumps in between Groovebox and Monokai. So it's also, it's a good follow-up. Then we got Jelly Beans. That one sounds like it would be a really beautiful color. All right, here we go, Jelly Beans. Actually, okay, so there is some fun this here where you see it's closer on the pastel side of things. You still get a brightness, but it uh, toned down saturation and hue uh, and kind of has more of a rainy day theme. But at the same time, you get some brightness in there with enough contrast to be able to identify a variety of tokens. And then you've got Solarized, which actually is looking pretty good. So it comes very close uh, be with Groovebox. Actually, it's uh, almost, uh, these two are very comparable. Uh, Solarized and Groovebox are very, very similar. And you could even choose this, I would say is probably my third favorite would be Solarized for the color scheme. And of course, each color theme comes with a light mode, dark mode uh, opportunity that you can split between the two. So it gives you sort of a nice, you, you've you got, uh, it mostly you do dark mode because it's easier on your eyes. You don't have this bright light just blaring at you. That's kind of what I like. So I tend to do that. I go with the, the dark mode because it's easier. It's easier on my eyes. Yeah, I like this. I like it. All right. So yeah, this is this is my text editor. This is uh, Groovebox colors.